Welcome back to Idiot uh, Geniuses after a brief I'm hiatus. Playing, after I? a brief many months hiatus, we're back. The best podcast in the friend group. The only podcast in the friend group. The only podcast to ever exist ever. And today we do not have a flashy guest. We do not have Nigel Bach. Nigel yeah. Bach is recording Bad Ben 4000 probably. I don't know. Best of luck to him. Thank you to this like we're in the future. Is that a mimic? Is that a mimic? Jack's Sounds playing Dark Souls 3 instead of Rats. I am James oh, Blair and I'm all and I'm it's always joined by my host, my two co hosts, oh, Jack Hitchkowski and Taysom LaFlant, who we are currently all Wilm Defoe. Uh, yeah, we are currently all <laughs> Wilm Defoe. Climb ladders. Because well, there, there's recently I'm been an James up Blair. I'm 27, <laughs> and I'm addicted to alcohol. <laughs> okay. Hi, James. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol, anonymous. The first topic of conversation. What do you guys uh, think about? Uh, since we have Willem Dafoe and a, I, I, feel, I think I think Jack's giving birth actually. <laughs> <laughs> on the pod. Taste is <laughs> not. Taste is giving birth in a different way. Having lots of birthage going on. <laughs> a very, you know a very big birthage to man them. ratio. <laughs> birthage to man ratio. Yeah. So the first. So since we have these Willem Dafoe NFT profile pictures. What are your guys' opinions on on non on non fungible tokens? How do you guys feel about NFTs? I love NFTs. Non I have a of my own. <laughs> non. I own an ape. You own an ape. You know who else owns an ape? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. You're on the same level as Jimmy Fallon now, which means you've got yeah. which means that you've gotten lower in the social hierarchy. Jimmy, <laughs> the tonight dough. <laughs> okay, the tonight dough is. It? I, it's nowhere. It's nowhere to be found. The tonight it's dough. The tonight. The tonight dough was the only good thing to ever come out of Jimmy Fallon's existence on this rock. Has has the audience dis, has the audi, has the audience ever figured out the most powerful item in all of existence? The super pistol. No, I don't think we've talked about the super pistol before on this podcast. There you go, I made the jump. The super pistol. He made the jump, guys. Instead of falling off and burning. Jack's playing Dark Souls 3 for anyone who cares. That's a lot of people. A lot of people care. And Taysom is doing I'm something. I'm playing Minecraft. And I'm just sitting here. So, so did you guys watch the new Spider-Man? No. The new Spider-Man trailer? Wait, what do you mean? I'm just talking about things that happened like a month ago, so we have content to talk about. The new Spider-Man? More like Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man that I didn't watch because I don't watch the movies. What about uh, We Can Be Heroes? Oh my god! Oh my god, we we can be heroes. Did someone say we can be heroes? <laughs> yes. Jason, how do you feel about we can be heroes? How do you I feel about that? I fucking love that movie. I love that movie so much. Why do you Actually, like that movie? I'm gonna watch it again right now. What? Why do you like that movie so much, Jason? Because it's so good. It's just the best. Okay. Movie. Okay, yeah, guys. I actually have something fun to show you guys. Have you guys heard of the, uh, have you guys heard of the, uh, of the martial art discipline known as Iron Crotch? Yes, I saw the voice critical video. Taste, have you heard of the, have you heard of a video known as, have you heard of a martial arts discipline known as Iron Crotch? Isn't that just where they, like, get kicked in the nuts a bunch <laughs> until they yeah. get used to it? <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm streaming. It's like a gonna... lack of ability to have children. 
the reason you lost pain there is because you no longer <laughs> have any nerves running there because you broke them all. <laughs> you broke them all smacking yourself in the nuts. I'm, I'm streaming it for people that want to see it. Can we see it? Hang on, let me see. I, am I remember watching midget boxing on VR chat. Midget with boxing? like a group of 10 people. Yeah. This guy is just hitting himself in the nuts with a yeah. brick. I love Midget that. boxing. Was it entertaining? Absolutely. <laughs> they got the battering ram out. It's just the Iron Man music starts playing. <laughs> like, is that a? What are you? Doing? <laughs> it's a battering ram, dude. What are you expecting to do? Block it with your nuts. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know how they survive such testicle torment? Testicle torment. You know how they survive? They have a skill where they literally just Operating. suck. Operating. No, dude, they suck. Up. They actually like retract their testicles into their body. How? What? Pure. How will. Testicle torment. Ball parade. <laughs> Can we just name the podcast this this episode just the testicle torment episode? <laughs> Testicular <laughs> tormentation. Thank you, RT News, for that. The Cock Crusade. The Cock Crusade. God, I hate everything. I, I really do. Yeah, we should do that. We should do some Iron Crotch. Next time you come over, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts really hard. And then say, learn from that. Please don't. I like my nuts. Yeah, but you're, <laughs> you're, he needs his, uh, I volunteer. Your nuts are I weakness, Jack. My nuts are my weakness. It's all of our weaknesses. We, we have to... Are your weakness, boy. Your testicles are your weakness. <laughs> your testicles is what makes you fail. Join the testicle side of the force. So, in news recently, Elizabeth Queen got COVID. Elizabeth Queen! <laughs> 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 Why did you say it like Elizabeth that? Queen. I don't know, it came out like that. I wasn't even meaning to say it like that. Elizabeth it just came the Queen. Elizabeth, Elizabeth the second queen. The, se the second one. She There's has no COVID nineteen. Are we are we taking bets on whether she is going to die? Why are we taking? If if anyone here takes bets, we're probably going to be arrested by the British government. We're in Canada. We can't do anything. Canada still. Part of a the queen's more of like a mascot, like how Chuck E. Cheese is. Like... <laughs> she goes to she goes to all the sports games. And Bro, can the can they, the two Canadian mascots are a very old woman and a and a rat that eats trees. What? And a rat that eats trees. It's not wrong. It's the rat that eats trees. It's, 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 it's my fucking beaver. It's the rat that it's eats trees. Fucking tre beaver. <laughs> it's, the rat, it's the rat that eats trees. It's the rat that eats trees. <laughs> that sounds like a children's book. <laughs> it took me a second to think of what the rat that eats trees is, but then I realized, and now I wish I didn't. <laughs> the rat that eats trees. The rat that eats trees. It does sound like a children's book. I love it. Can you, I would buy that if you wrote it, Jack. Thank you. So how do we feel about politics? Politician, politics, more like... Molitics. I don't even know what that was. What, what the fuck are molitics, dude? You gotta explain now. I don't know what No, 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 you are. gotta come up with a definition now. You gotta come up with a definition. Yeah, you gotta come up with a definition. On the spot. On the spot, go. Improv. Politics are like politics, except 
all of the people in the pol- all the politicians are dressed up as like horrifically deformed people. Molitics. Molitics. I had two different definitions that I was thinking of for molitics. Okay. Molitics. Me... Politics that are performed in a public mall. A public mall. Or, oh, or, the political system of a group of mollusks. Yes! The molitics. 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 That's way Jack, Taysen, how do you feel about molitics? As what? Mollusk politics? Or politics? I, um, do you think the mollusks I, uh, could take over? I... I could probably do it if they believe hard enough. I feel I, like um um my because cephalopods, are cephalopods are very smart. Are technically me, mollusks, me when... and they're very smart. Taste and when taste and when molitics. Me me when me when me when I me, me, when you me, eat me, is me, a me, snail me, a mollusk? Me, 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 me and you yes. Yeah, it's a cephal. It's a gastropod. And if you eat escargot, you will be brought before the the Molotic Council Council. and judged for your crimes. (laughs) So... The uh, the only way to, like, the only way we can stop them is by pouring salt on them and letting them dry out. That actually makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> just get a giant, just develop a giant salt cannon. <laughs> Kill them all! <laughs> no, salt they're plane. they're bombing us! It's just a giant salt shaker. It's just an airplane filled with salt. No! Okay, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, who out of the three of us do you think would die first? What? In a zombie apocalypse, who out of the three of us do you think would die first? Me. Why no, would why? You probably survive for the longest. Taysom, why do you think you would die first? I think I would die because the zombies would see my fat, juicy ass and be like, "Damn, damn!" Like they're just regular walkers, and then they turn into World War Z zombies as soon as they see your ass. They're like, "God damn!" Exactly. I mean, it would depend on the apocalypse, too, because there are so many different zombie apocalypses out there. If it was World War Z, we're all fucking dead. No survivors. But if it was, like, regular Walking Dead, I feel like I could do it. Because they're slow and shit, so... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Is that the cathedral? I don't know, man. Is it? If you could tame, if you could have a pet that was a mythical creature, what mythical creature would you choose as your pet? A hydra. A hydra? Why would you choose yeah. a hydra, Taysom? Why wouldn't you Fucking choose a awesome. hydra? And what about you, Jack? Do you Are you also going team hydra? I think I might go for the... Um, I might go for... A dragon or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with dragon too. I mean, a hydra is very cool. And what is that like an old great wolf or something? A hydra or... is a dragon. A hydra is a type. It's I think it's. I, it's actually, a type of dragon. Actually, it's wait, like no. Nope. I'm, 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 I'm gonna search that up right now. Is is a multi-headed dragon? Is a hydra a is a hydra a dragon? It is. Dragon-like a... water serpent. It's dragon like. Yeah. Dude, it's. Hydras are fucking sick. They've got multiple heads. Like, imagine, right? If you could have that thing can regenerate your wool, you now have probably like five or six heads. Is a Hydra <laughs> considered a dragon? Yes. Yeah. It, it, there's no, like. It is neither snake nor dragon. It, it is. is. It's its own thing. It says. That I'm looking on the wiki. Hmm. I'm looking on the D and D wiki. I didn't know mine through D and D. I knew mine through. Okay. Okay. Hydra. F- according to the Dragon Wiki. The I guess. Dragon it, I guess it must be a dragon then. 
Okay, we'll call it at Hydra is Actually, a dragon. Why can't we have um Why can't we Okay a Hydra would be a cool one, but then what would uh what about like a, a magical flying horse or a giant uh, a, wolf? Cent a centaur friend. A centaur friend. Or every time you ride on its back, it goes, can, Hey man, can you please stop, like, doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff the, the centaur. Jeff the centaur. What does he do? He just yells. I want, I feel like my best friend in a, medi in a medieval situation would be a small goblin riding a larger goblin. Right? No, it's a, it's a, it's a, a gob, it's a gremlin riding a goblin on its back. And then the goblin is riding an ogre. Oh my god. And then the ogre is riding a dragon, but then the dragon is riding a hydra. The ogre is riding a dragon. And then the dragon is riding a hydra. Dude, or some type of, like, cosmic horror or something like that. Like, Cthulhu? Like, like, it's a gremlin <laughs> riding I'm thinking, the I'm thinking, like, space. yeah, Cthulhu or, like, hmm. <laughs> do you think you would make friends with Cthulhu, or do you think you would die by his hand? Um, I think I'd become good friends with Cthulhu, because we've both got the same ideas in mind. Oh, I didn't know you could cut off this, the... Me and, me and Cthulhu share... The uh, same ideology? Oh my god. What is Cthulhu? Okay, well, what is Okay, I'm searching that up now. What is Cthulhu's motivation? What is Cthulhu? What is Cthulhu's goal? Isn't it just to corrupt? It desires the... It de it desires complete destruction. Oh, oh. Its goal is nothing less than the utter destruction of reality itself. Oh, fun. That makes sense. Just like just like Mama used to make. Can taste? Can Kafuhu be killed? No, it's immortal. Oh, that's fun. The Great Dreamer. Taysom, so are you with Cthulhu? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you even look at Cthulhu, you go insane instantaneously, so like... Yeah, it's almost the same type of thing as me. Call me Chinese Water Pitcher, because this German bitch is going insane. What? What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> call, call me Chinese what? Water Pitcher, because this... <laughs> Cause this trip <laughs> make bitches go insane. Cause this trip. <laughs> Mine is dying here. Call he said call me Chinese water torture. Cause this drip is making bitches go insane. Call me what? China. Oh Chinese my. Chinese water torture. Do you know what Chinese water torture is? <laughs> no. He's okay, not he's big. He took a very very small torture. hole. I didn't know you said you... torture. Chinese, yeah, Chinese water torture. That's what they call me. That's what they call him, man. That's what they call him. They call him. me Chinese water torture. That's what they call him, man. You don't know his name? You don't know his name? Are there any... <laughs> Back to Cthulhu. Why would you think that you'd be able to side yourself with Cthulhu? Why do you think you'd be able to side yourself with Cthulhu? See, I think I think he would see me and he would go insane, you know? Like Cthulhu would or just Or maybe see me he and would he down. would just go insanely lustful. Damn, he's And he would try to and he would try to have sex with you. That's too bad. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but you wouldn't survive cuz he's a cosmic entity. <laughs> no, you, you see I would because I am also a cosmic entity. Oh, okay. So you're saying you're omnipotent? Yes. Okay. Good thing we got that cleared up. <laughs> Jack, good thing we got that cleared up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kafulu. Yo, why are you calling his ass? Yo, okay. Favorite Disney movie and why? Um. Disney. Who? You watching Spongebob? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you watching, Taysom? Spongebob. <laughs> All I can hear is that. Do, 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 do. 
There's some video of a guy talking about his, how he knows his girl left more than she was in the video. Bro, you watching Spongebob! <laughs> okay, Jack, who- Spongebob. Favorite Disney movie and why? Go. Favorite Disney movie? Yeah, and why. Um, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. It's technically not Disney. Yes, it is. It's well, owned by Disney. Well, that doesn't count as a Disney movie because it's technically it made does. by Marvel Studios, which you isn't. You want me to say favorite Pixar movie? Yeah, go favorite Pixar movie. I don't. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like Moana. Oh really? I like Moana. Like Monster Inc. Or like you know. Monster Inc. Like is really good too. The Toy Story trilogy is pretty good. I haven't seen the fourth one though. I haven't watched the third one yet. The third one's kind of... I don't know. I like the first Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It. Oh my Wreck god, it, yes. Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph 2 was kind of ass, though. My favorite Disney movie is Adam Sandler's Grown Ups. Oh god. The first one. That you didn't like funny. 2? You didn't like Grown Ups Endgame? Grown Ups Endgame. The, the, the boomers versus Chad. <laughs> the boomers versus the frat boys. Boomers versus Chad. Okay, fine. Let's change the topic. Favorite Adam Sandler movie. Go. Favorite Blended. I haven't seen Blended. What's enlighten me? It's, it's really good. Blended? Um. Yeah, it's some like movie about him and like. Ah, uh, fucking... Ah, uh, what's your name? Damn it. One second. Let me look up this... This one's name. Uh... Uh... Drew Barrymore. Oh. Uh, as Lauren Reynolds. Um, Ryan Reynolds? They, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Lauren Reynolds. And Jim, Jim Friedman. Adam Sandler as Jim oh. Friedman. I see. Yeah, they like Yo, their wait, bo both of their bosses. Me? Yeah. No, I haven't. Dude, it's got Kevin James in it. What it's movie? Uh, Becky. Becky's good. I liked Becky. It was weird, but I liked it. I don't think I'll ever be able to look back on Kevin James the same way ever again since grade 8. Oh, dude, Kevin James is like a neo-Nazi in that movie. What? In Becky, he has a swastika yeah, tattooed on the back of his head. We should have opened with that instead of just saying Kevin James is a neo-Nazi. <laughs> I just thought we were I thought we were on the topic no. of... No, 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 we were on the topic of <laughs> Becky, so I thought we were still talking about that. No, James just started... Uh, not James... Uh, Taysom just started talking about something else. Oh, that okay. You will never look at Kevin James the same James since grade like, 8. Yo, and it, it's, like, it's a neo Nazi. Yeah, the same since grade 8. I'm like, and then you're just like, Kevin James is a neo Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> in Becky, Kevin, in the movie Becky, Kevin James plays a neo Nazi who escaped from prison and holds a, ha a, a family hostage. And then it's up to the little the girl little to kill girl, them all, brutally. Also known as girl from Ouija. She was in Ouija? She was in Ouija. Oh, okay, Ouija. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, she has to stop them, like... Wait, who was the dad in that movie? Joel McHale? Joel McHale, yeah. Yeah, Joel McHale was the dad. And he died. Yeah, he dies. My favorite Adam Sandler movie is Pixels because of how bad it is. Your favorite Adam Sandler movie is what? Pixels because of how bad it is. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Chicka Chicka. Slim Shady. I'm trying to save the world from annihilation. Are you nuts? Chicken, are you nuts? You cracker. cracker. You cracker. You cracker. God, I'm trying to save the world. Hey, somebody's more important. Moonwalks. Stunt double. Stunt double. Okay, I'm gonna pull that scene up right now, and we're gonna discuss. Stunt double. We are going to discuss. 
We are going to discuss. We are going to discuss the movie. We are going to discuss this scene from the movie Pixels. Pixels, Adam, Moon, Walk. Where, where is this fucking shit, dude? I'm trying to find it. Okay, fine. Pixels, Adam, Sandler, White House. I'm going to, I'll just do that scene. Where, where, where are you? Where are I like how one of the videos is just this guy recording it on his fucking TV. You old cracker. What what TV is it? No, no, very much. Like TV. You cracker. <laughs> you cracker. <What>? <laughs> <laughs> you cracker. Ah, Pixels funny moments too. Why is the random tick speed so high? I turned it down. I'm trying to. Oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, I found it. I found it. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that shot, bro. It it. Can you keep the riffraff out of here? See, he could have moonwalked in that last second, but he could have also just walked backwards. So I am convinced that for this, that for this moment, that <laughs> this is not. This is not. Okay, let's... What? This is not Adam Sandler. <laughs> okay, let's slow it down. Let's slow the playback speed down to 0 0.25. So, this is Adam Sandler right here, yeah? That's Adam Sandler. Yes. Not Adam Sandler at all. It's a stunt uh, double. It's a stunt... Legs. It's a stunt Three double. Legs. And then it cuts back to Adam Sandler. And... as But you can see that he moonwalks... Again, right here, but he could just be walking normally, which I'm convinced that he is because Adam Sandler cannot moonwalk for shit. How do I know that? I don't know that, but judging by Adam Sandler's character, I think that he is incapable of doing something so cool. <laughs> and that is, that's my TED Talk, ladies and gentlemen. That's your TED Talk? That's my TED Talk. That's my TED Talk, ladies and gentlemen. It is incapable. It is not Adam Sandler. He is not capable of doing something so this cool. This is not Adam Sandler. This is not Gary Oldman. <laughs> this is not Gary Oldman. If you guys haven't seen The Grinch. Okay, so that was the podcast. That was the podcast. Wow. That was 28 minutes. Oh my god. That wasn't that long. It felt very long. It did feel very long. Did you stop recording? No. Oh. That's why I'm dragging it out for another 10 minutes. I was minutes. like, why don't you just put on a meme compilation or something to keep the audience distracted? <laughs> I just put like like 20th what century. They don't know. <laughs> like every 15 seconds, I'll just edit in a vine boom to keep their attention. <laughs> a vine thud with your soundboard. <laughs> no, they're gonna put on the two hours of side of, <laughs> of <laughs> silence broken up by vine boom sound effect. <laughs> Wait, I'm recording my whole screen, so if I just put that on YouTube in the background, <laughs> and I just ran it as a background process, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that later. So, opinions on the White House, and why is it so white? It's racist. M mayonnaise house. The mayonnaise house? <laughs> Excuse me? The mayonnaise house. That's where the first jar of mayonnaise was created, and that's why it's so white. The first jar of mayonnaise was created in the White House. It's, it's, it's right near America's penis. Um, what? The Washington Monument is just America's penis. 
<laughs> I mean, They're fucking what? The, the Washington Monument. Okay, think about this. If the Washington Monument looks so cool in America, but if you are walking through the woods and there's a clearing and you just see the Washington Monument, that'd be fucking creepy. The Washington Monument. What it wouldn't even it? wouldn't even be the Washington Monument. It'd just be called the Monument. <laughs> and you just you just You're be walking. Spider-Man, I move the Washington Monument two inches to the left. <laughs> I will continue to do this for 4,000 years until eventually it is outside of the state of Washington, making it no longer the Washington Monument. It is now just the monument. The monument. <laughs> <laughs> Weed has been legalized. Uh <laughs> has been so, do we have any guest ideas? Uh, Joe Rogan. Joe, mm. you want Joe Rogan to get on here? Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Okay. I, I'll, I'll contact his people. I'll contact his people. I'll contact his agents. Do you want? We could get. We should get Willem Dafoe on the podcast. He could talk about his life. You just come on here and talk to us and be like, why are you guys, why, why are you all me? How? And then we'd say, Mr. Willem, this is what we call a non-fungible token. I started watching Wes Anderson movies recently. They're very good. Have you seen a Wes Anderson movie, Jack? No. Like, uh, The French Dispatch, or The Life Aquatic, or The Grand Budapest Hotel. You haven't seen any of those? No. They're very good. You should watch them. They're very nice. I feel like we could get... Very ED nice. I feel like we could get EDP 445 <laughs> on the pod. We need EDP 445. <laughs> Do you hear yourself? <laughs> Do you hear yourself? <laughs> no, like so that he can confess his innocence, oh, guys, but he doesn't. We need Ely P445 <laughs> on this channel, you guys. It would be so good. We so do. Good for you. The, whole, the whole interview is just us making fun of him until he leaves the I'm Zoom making call. Making fun of how overweight he is. No, making fun of his pedophilia until he leaves the Zoom call. Oh, yes. Yo guys, welcome to EDP four four five. <laughs> welcome to Idiot Geniuses. Today we have EDP here. I love your work. <laughs> He's calling in from some ran raggedy ass uh, streaming service, probably called like. <laughs> He's banned everywhere else, so he has to use. He's like, calling it. We have to use like a scoop. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> We have to use. We can't even use Skype. He's banned on Skype. We have to use Scoop. <laughs> He's using Scoop. <laughs> we, have use, we have to use Scoop. It's we the only to, one that works. We have to use Scoop. 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 Scoopy. I'm. I can't wait to edit the thumbnail together for this video, and it just be a fucking clusterfuck. Like it'll be like the Washington Monument, and then it'll be like. A Hydra fighting Cthulhu in the background, and then it'll be oh like God. EDP in the foreground. <laughs> no. Should we get Nigel Bach back on the cast? Hell yeah. He said he said I should invite him back when Bad Ben Ten comes out. So. Wait for real? Well, he said. He said, maybe I'll talk to you when Bad Ben 10 comes out. And I'll be like, I was like, yeah, that'd Yo, be, that'd be bad, bad Ben 10, dude. He's got to do a Ben 10 collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> they find out that Bad Ben isn't actually so bad, and he's actually just a shape-shifting teenager. <laughs> he's not a ghost, he's just a Okay, the one, the, 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 the one question I had for him was, uh... Like, no, I'm not dissing Nigel Bach. He's a very nice guy. I'm not going to say anything bad. I'm just putting out a disclaimer that if I talk about Nigel Bach, he's a very cool guy. You should go check him out. Very good movies. He's and gonna uh, he's not going to kill me. He's going to kill He's you. in Jersey. 
How do you know where he is? Nigel Park's awesome. Because the house that he lives in is in Jury. Is in Jersey. Jury. He's <laughs> he is in Jury. He has Jury duty right now. He is in Jury. <laughs> Currently in a The one thing. Jury the duty. one thing. The one. The stay. one thing I asked him was uh, bad bet. Uh, Nigel. Uh, fucking Tom Riley went to hell in nine because we all did. We all watch nine together. Yes, we, we did. Yes, we did. We, yeah, he, we he, all remember the ass shot. He he was naked for part of it. No, no, no. I mean, like, remember the shot where the camera's just like focused on his ass the entire time? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, he, you know how he went to hell at the end. <laughs> I asked him about that, and he's like, yeah, he went to hell. And I'm like, so is that the end of Tom Riley? And he's like, no, there's going to be more movies. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's going to find his way out of hell. I mean, of course, he's Tom Riley. He's Tom freaking Riley. Is it going to be like a purgatory? Or maybe we're going to do more prequels. Maybe a Netflix series. Oh, my The Tom Riley Chronicles. Oh, my God, yes, please. I would watch the Tom Riley Chronicles on Netflix. A Netflix series? Oh my god, yes, please. The Tom Riley Chronicles. I would love that, actually. I would love that. It's like a comedy. Other guest it's ideas for the pod. Podcast. We we could have Adam Sandler. Me? No! No! He kept messing with you the whole time during the podcast. He it was did. so funny. It was re- I did? was nervous as shit. <laughs> I was like, Nigel Bach. Nigel Bach, yeah. I just called him Tom Riley. His name isn't Tom Riley, man. His name is Nigel. Nigel Bach. Yeah, that, Nigel, Nigel Bach just kept getting them. <laughs> yeah, I called this movie pretty good, I and mean, he was like, pretty good? What do you mean, yeah. pretty good? Mean pretty good. And I'm like, it's and great. just like, I'm messing with you. And then he's just like, oh my god. He was so fun to talk to, though. Really, he was so fun to talk to. Oh, that's I really hope I could talk to him again, but probably never gonna happen. Maybe I'll join next time. It's a I'm once in a blue moon experience. Movies. I gotta watch more of his movies, then maybe I'll talk to him again. They're not really available anywhere in Canada. The only oh, ones that the, on. the only ones that are available on uh, Prime in Canada are like seven and. Th- Seven and like nine? I don't know. I gotta watch those ones on Prime. There's one where he's an Uber driver and he picks oh up God. and he picks up like a werewolf. Oh. It's that is awesome. It was actually pretty good. That was his favorite one to film because he got to like do something different. I think I remember talking about that. Yeah. Did you know the entire movie was improv, basically? Yeah, yeah. He only shot. He shot the uh, the the first scene of the movie, and then he shot the last scene of the movie, and he basically just improv the entirety of in between. What? Yeah. What happened? Your mic no. cut out. I was just talking about how he improv the movie. Okay. Like you're gonna you're saying something, and all of a sudden no audio came out. Oh, okay. We I could see you were talking on your, on the camera, but then nothing else came out. Yeah, I've, I've emailed a lot of people about the pod, and nobody's gotten back to me, except Peter Kane dog training, and he said he couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Because I was too young. He, I don't know what that... Uh... Peter Kane dog training. He, uh... I, think he, I, I think I emailed, like, the creator of the Mandela catalog... Did you? Wait, yeah, for real? I did. Oh, that would be that would be really fucking cool. It would be cool. That would be really cool. I really enjoyed the the Mandela catalog. He did not get back to me. That was like months ago. Yeah. You could and try to email Kane Pixels. Who is Kane Pixels? Oh my God, Kane Pixels! Yes, please do. That would be sick. Okay, I'll do that. Like after the pod, then I'll email him. Mi- Dear Mr. Can- Pixels. <laughs> Dear Mr. Pixels. <laughs> Dear Mr. Pixels. Was he the guy that did the backrooms thing? Yes. Oh, it was that guy. Oh, frig. Yeah, I loved. I loved that video actually. Shut. Shush. I actually know him from his Attack on Titan videos. Well, that's different. 
Of course you did. You weeb. Of course you knew it from his Attack on Titan videos, Jack. Because I'm cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, that's what we call people who watch Attack on Titan. Cool. Cool people. That's definitely what we call them. Nice. Okay. Nothing horrifying. else, I promise. I also emailed, like, Trevor Henderson. Also didn't email me back. Trevor Henderson hates you. I honestly do not know names of people, so, like... Trevor Henderson like... was the siren, the siren Head guy. Like, oh, he, okay, he, did, yeah. he did all those kind of art, like, all the creepy art pieces that he did. That was him. I see. Yeah, it's... Oh. Very cool. Very cool indeed. But yeah, I think I, I, I think we could end it here, the pod. I feel oh, like man. I feel like we had a good pod, boys. So please, emailing this has been idiot geniuses. Please like or dislike. I don't care. You, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what to do. I'm your mom. Payson might be your mom, I can. Though. You better yeah. fucking like. I swear to God, on my life. Like the video. Subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, we will see you next. On my life, I'll Whatever, show next, you whenever stop. we, because it's pretty Chill spread on. out. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next pod. This this episode will release on the 16th of December, 2025. <laughs> This episode was... <laughs> I named the date. Now you have to do it. It will not release on that date. It will release whenever uh, I want. You have want. to do it now. Okay. You Bye. Have to upload it and have it as like one of those pre-uploads with the scheduled <laughs> date. <laughs> so then it's constantly December up on your channel for the next but three it's for the next years. Five, for the next three years. And it finally releases. And it's just this. Just... Yep. You have to do it. I'm not <laughs> doing it. Give me this shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can set it for premiere for next weekend. Because. You gotta set it to premiere now. Because if Sunday. May 25. Today's Monday. Today is Monday. Monday. I know today's Monday. Tuesday. I, have, I, I have not stopped I recording. <laughs> okay, this is the real end of the pod. Please. We, we will not That's see you in 2025. Time, we will see you next week. And we'll see you oh, next time. Oh, shit. Goodbye. Yeah.